Hi-Fi Channel. Never fear, Smith is here. Explore new worlds with the Space Family Robinson and the crew of the Jupiter 2 as they coast through the cosmos. Warning, warning, alien approaching. On Lost in Space. Coming up next on the Sci-Fi Channel. My favorite show was called The Anti-Matter Man because I was able to play a dark side of me. You know, the yin-yang, black and white. You know, I was Don West and then I was the other side of Don West. He's your duplicate, all right. When do we get mine? You know, I could be vicious. You know what I mean? So I could... Oh, I felt good, man. You know, when this, I was gonna, that robot, I was gonna kill everybody, man. I had this... That was great. You... Lost in Space featured some pretty incredible special effects for its day, but behind the scenes, not everything went so smoothly. This landing of the Jupiter II, for example, would have cost Major West his pilot's license. And here, the space pod looks as if the bloop were at the controls. It's a good thing we got it right eventually. Well, sort of. When you... Remember when Robbie the Robot was a guest star on Lost in Space? I have tried to erase him from my memory banks. In comparison to myself, you are very ignorant. You know, I never did trust him. His sensors always look pretty shifty. An inferior example of cybernetic engineering. Yeah, besides, I always thought you were groovier. Thank you, Will Robinson. Thank you. People ask me how many Jupiter 2s we used in filming Lost in Space. Well, there was an 18-inch miniature used in a lot of the deep space flying scenes. This 36-inch model for landings and takeoffs, a full-sized upper deck used for our campsite scenes, even a giant full-sized replica that was used in only two episodes, a total of four Jupiter 2s and not a bathroom on any one of them. The best one that I liked that I did was Attack of the Monster Plants. <laughs> Would you like some salad, Judy? No, thank you. Oh, it's your favorite. I don't want any salad. Judy. Mother, I had an opportunity to do some acting, do something with what uh, I felt I had been trained for. My favorite episode, Return to Earth, when Will back to Earth to get some carbon tetrachloride for the food purifier, I believe, is what he was there to do. I made it! I made it! I'm on Earth! I like that show a lot because, I mean, Will actually did get back to Earth, you know, and accomplish something to save everybody. That was the first time he did anything that really saved their lives. Irwin Allen was a... Uh... It was a tornado. When Irwin walked on the set, you knew, uh-oh, Irwin's here. That door would open on that set, and you knew it was Irwin. He'd go, shoom, he'd come into that set, and he'd walk in. What's going on? Why aren't we getting the shot here? You know, what's the problem? I used to call him the Emperor whenever I had to write him a letter or anything. It was always, dear Emperor. I remember that this was the most difficult and complex man. It was like, uh-oh. I better hit my mark. I better know my lines, which I always did anyway. But, I mean, everybody had this air of, like, the boss is here, let's do this right. He was a genius. He wanted excitement, he wanted energy. I had great regard and respect for the expertise which he showed in the area in which he worked. Geniuses uh, always have a reputation of being eccentric, and, and indeed, he, he was that too. There's a song on my solo CD, which is new, called The Ballad of William Robinson, which actually refers to that moment. I shot the one I jumped down with laser in my hand. The Robinson story is legitimately like a, a bad sailor's story. Dad, I killed the giant! I killed him! You sure did. A sailor from Liverpool whose ship goes astray. It's the same type of thing. It's just a, a space sailor. Don? If I were to do Lost in Space again, I'd want to make sure 
Judy and I had a more substantial relationship on the show to show that in families and in, in relationships, it's okay to care. I was supposed to be a biophysicist in it. So uh, if I had an opportunity to go back and play it again, I would like to have some more experiments going. If I was lucky, I would find yet another facet that I hadn't done. But I don't know whether I could, because I explored him very well. My agent told me, he said to me, Mark, if you do the pilot of a Lost in Space, no one will ever see it, I promise you. I said, well, I'm not so sure. What's it about? And they said, well, it's Space Family Robinson, essentially. It was originally a very serious action-adventure ensemble science fiction piece, and I saw the opportunity to be a little superhero in Will Robinson. I had done um, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea for Irwin, and on the second day he came down and he said, uh, want to do another series? I Yes, I would like to. I was called into the office by Irwin Allen, and uh, he, I think, had seen me on the Danny Thomas show. You tell Mr. Allen that I hesitate to show him the wrong film, but I'll show him the real thing, me. He said, well, he's not gonna like that. And I said, tough, well, you know, that's not what I said. However, 20 minutes later, phone rang. He wants to know who the hell you think you are, and I'll see you at four o'clock. Will was a pretty inspiring character, you know, he was a genius, uh, he, was, he was polite, but he listened to his own inner voices. If Dad said, no one leaves the ship till dawn and I return. And he realized, well, if I don't leave the ship, you know, your ass is grass, he left the ship. Will, you come back here, do you hear me? When I tell you to stay and protect the family, don't you ever leave your post again, understand? He was a great character to play and I very much enjoyed playing him. That boy's gone off again without permission. One of the most difficult stunts in the business is this flying thing where they pull you up on a wire and then you fly. Stu Moody, our special effects man, was such a genius that the, the danger level in our minds, the cast minds, ceased. We actors, we're given things to learn which somebody wrote. And then somebody tells us where to stand, sit, and exit. But the effects men, the crew in general, genius.